Hey guys, it's Monica. Many of you know that I have been on a, and I continue to be on a hunt for the perfect, perfect foundation that has SPF in it. It's really, really hard to find. It really is. So most of the time, to actually feel that I have adequate protection, I do use my Australian Gold Mineral, and that is the SPF broad spectrum that I have, UA, UA, UVA, UVB, on my face. I, I put that on, I put it on my face, my neck, some my hands. I kind of I kind of really put that on a lot, but you you want to have a foundation on either on top of it or or something, you know, that looks good, you know, yeah. can work and be a little bit more reasonable. I absolutely love the Shiseido. I've talked about that in the past. I, I credit Sheila Life with Lily for that purchase because I really love it. You shake it up and you put it on and it's like a foundation. It covers really well. But when but when I'm thinking, you know, day in, day out, right? I don't know whether I'm just a cheap person or what. But it's almost like I want to use Every single day, I want to use something on my face, but I don't want to be using something that costs me thirty, forty, fifty, sixty dollars for a little little tube of it. So I got super excited. I'm sure some of you did. I got super excited when I started to hear about the Maybelline Urban Dream or Dream Urban Cover Foundation that was coming out. And so when it when I first started hearing about it, I said. Wouldn't that just be absolutely perfect if you had something that was a full coverage, but it worked well with my skin and it actually gave me sunblock protection, 50 SPF in a drugstore makeup line, it's drugstore price point. I really got so excited because as much as I absolutely love the Shiseido, as I absolutely love my Color Science powder and the other, like I have my Estee Lauder, which is a 15 SPF, but you know, it's not enough to feel protected, at least not at my age. It's just not enough. So even though I was making do, I was putting the Australian Gold on, then my Estee Lauder, and I was kind of like really playing around, and I wanted something that would look good on my skin, something that would last, and you know, something that I felt would cover my skin and protect me. I Many of you know that I love my YSL. This I did get sent to me by Oculi Network. This, but this is like really expensive. So this to me was more of a special occasion. And I recently talked about their YSL highlighter and the concealer. Oh my gosh, I love those. I have been wearing those every day. I love, love, love those. But anyways, for every day, I'm like, oh no. So I bit the bullet and I bought them. Now, first of all, if you've already bought it and you already love it, don't let my thoughts about this sway you at all. But if you are thinking about buying, think about what I'm gonna say because there's a couple of things that you really need to consider if you are going to buy this like I was going to as a full coverage all over my face sun protection and have a foundation look you know I wanted to have a found something that looked good on my skin and I think it looks good on my skin it wears well on my skin this morning for example I applied it oh gosh maybe eight o'clock and it is quarter seven in the evening and I mean I've touched up yes um, I've been inside I did a little bit outside and I did touch up because I it lasts nicely it's not to me a super full coverage it's sort of more like a medium coverage but I was able to build up without using a bunch of concealer on my veins so that my veins would look better and it felt it feels really good on my skin doesn't feel heavy doesn't it didn't cake up i had a little bit of around the edge of my nose you know i could see a little bit of breakup and in here but i was looking at this as an spf 50 all over my face and having a, a sort of a makeup look so that i didn't have to use my shiseido when i was out pulling weeds or when i was out doing something or you know was just walking uh, at, uh, but i wanted to be protected so I ended up getting this and it's, it's, I'm sorry about it because A number one, 
I think the color selection is really poor. There's only like 16 shades. I've got two shades here. So if your skin is like mine, you would know. But I've got like the, I've got the 220 Natural Beige, beige and the 130 Buff Beige. I think they look okay on me. I really do. But it's the ingredients that got to me. I don't know why I didn't pay attention to the ingredients, but I didn't. I was just so excited. I said, holy cow, a drugstore 50 SPF in a foundation that has full coverage that is going to look nice on my skin. That's all I real. That's all that resonated with my brain. So then when I started to look at the ingredients, I went, holy cow, you know, I think it was like, I'll list the ingredients, but um, denential alcohol, the bad alcohol is listed up there. And I know even my YSL has that. I mean, I know that there's reason for it, but I, I don't wear my YSL every day. And I would never apply it to the level that I would apply something that I thought was giving me sun protection like this claims to do. So the fact that there's alcohol in here, I could have dealt with it except that I was thinking if this works the way it's supposed to work, I'm going to be wearing this an awful lot and I could be wearing this every single day, especially if I'm camping, if I'm away from home. Then I started to read further and there's a fragrance in there. Now, there's nothing I can smell, but you know, hey, some people are sensitive to that. So I wasn't too keen on that. I don't think you really need that, in my opinion, in a foundation or really in anything. But it was the the SPF that really got to me. And so I'm going to be more of an aware consumer because it says broad spectrum. And yes, there's probably enough coverage to be called broad spectrum. But if you look at what they're using for their sunscreen ingredients, most of those are heavy in protecting with UVB rays. And you know, if you don't know the difference between a UVA and a UVB, a UVB is the the protection that's really super good. It's going to prote protect you from turning into this huge lobster. You know, it's going to stop you from burning. And we all think, well, the burn is going to destroy our skin. Well, you know, obviously it's no good for you. Um, but it's the UVA that is the one that you really need the most protection for, in my opinion, and I'm not a chemist, I'm not an expert, I'm not nothing, I'm just me, Monica, um, 65 years old, thinking what a fool I am at times, buying this, but anyways, um, it's the UVA that you want if you're an older woman, if you're a mature woman, or even any kind of, uh, any age, I would think, you would want to make sure that you had the UVA protection, because that is the rays that are much more harmful, that a UVA, think about aging, UVB, just think about burning. Both are bad, but the UVA is sort of that the the rays that really aid you, that go deep into the dermis, that can really affect your skin, and contributes tremendously to aging. So, uh, when I read those ingredients and I realized, gosh, you know, broad broad spectrum, it, nah, it it isn't going to have enough for me of what I really want, which is I want to really have UVA and UVB. I want to have good protection so that I can gobble this on, glob this on all over my face, have sort of a finished look that looks okay, which I don't know, you tell me guys. How's my skin look? I mean, I've had it on all day. You know, um, I had to mix the two colors, you know, and all that. But if you're looking for the, if you're buying this simply because it's a drugstore and you have the SPF, please, please, please study the ingredients a little bit more carefully than I did. Because I think if you get something that gives you the UVA and the UVB, and most of those will be listed, you know, you will then at least protect more so equally against both, from what I understand. So this is the big, this is a big... I can't tell you how disappointed I am. I, I actually like how this looks on my skin. I really do. I actually like it. I thought this would be really awesome since the CYO is being discontinued, which is what I bought in Walgreens. And oh, by the way, online in Walgreens, I can't get the 107, which is the shade I really want in the CYO. I'm on a waiting list. They're supposed to still sell it until January 2020, and I can't get the 107. 
but anyways I thought since that was being discontinued not that that had a any kind of huge SPF it, it didn't I think it was like 15 or something I thought you know a foundation I wanted to find something else that was drugstore that I thought would look nice on me that would protect my skin and so I bought this I'd been waiting for this I and mean, you guys must have heard that this was coming out for the longest time and it just now in my area has hit the stores I mean it was available online but in my area it just has hit the stores so I bought this and I was just so so disappointed so disappointed in that but on a happier note I did get this is from um, Kevin Aquan this was actually sent to me via the Octoly Network from Kevin Aquan. This is their sculpting powder. This is a really tiny little container. It it's you just kind of push this in and it opens up. I got the color I got was too light. It definitely is too light. And I'm gonna put some on my hand here. I don't know if it's gonna pick up. But this is a sculpting powder. And what I did is I just put it very lightly right here in the morning just to kind of give a little bit of a definition to my face. I don't really know if it gives much of a definition right now, but it is, it's, this is the color light. I think the color medium would have done a lot better for me, but I think this is really nice. It lasted all day. It looked good. It didn't turn orange on me. I did have to apply a lot of it because it's so light. But you know what? I actually prefer something that's lighter than something that isn't. So this is, I think this is a really nice option. Now I'm going to list the information in case you're curious. I know you can get it at Sephora. This was sent to me, as I said, via Octoly, via Kevin Con. And the other thing that I got that was really cool, it's like this. This is the Evalam, Evalam. This is also sent to me via Octoly via the company. This is a cleansing balm. I've only used it once. It is, oh, it smells really nice. It has a, I don't know what it, it just, it smells really nice. Anyways, I put this on my face. Use a small amount of cleanser between your fingers in circular movements, massage into dry skin and place the muslin cloth in hot water and wring it out and then press the damp cloth all onto your face and hold for five seconds. Repeat this three times and it really it took my makeup right off. It was really, really nice. I know it's an expensive product. I like it, but I'm really glad I had the opportunity to try it. I am using a couple of different cleansing balms. This just feels, when I did this, I just felt like I was pampering my skin. I really did. I felt like I was pampering my skin. The muslin cloth, just the way to do it, circular emotions, let it sit, hot water all over your face with this cloth three times. I And I do like having that feeling of being pampered. So that's, yeah, I thought that, I thought that was really, really nice. Sorry, I was thirsty. I'll let you know how I like this as I continue to use it longer, but so far, I'm thoroughly impressed and really, really liked it. The other thing I wanted to mention, as I know a couple of you, you knew that I had talked about when I got these hair extensions from Irresistible Me, that they had sent me these hair, hair extensions and they were the really long ones and I was going to cut them. I haven't cut them yet as you can see it. Well, I have gotten to the point where I am going to go ahead and cut them. I think, take a look at this match. I think this is a perfect match and I got my scissors in and I'm going to go ahead and give these a trim and then I'm going to try to clip them into my hair. I'm really excited about it. It's taken me a while to get up the nerve because I was afraid, I was afraid that I would ruin this. This is human hair, the Remy hair. This is really really nice this was sent to me gosh eons ago they've been super patient they haven't said to me hey what's up with you why aren't you doing the review they've been super patient they keep sending me you know better directions on how to do this and and things of that nature so i'm excited i'm gonna give this a trim and who knows maybe in one of my next videos you're going to see those hair extensions in i even think when i wear my hair up and like right now i have I have my little fake bun thing. 
on top of my head. But I even think when I wear my hair up, I could probably pull my hair in a ponytail with those extensions. So I'm really, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. So I'm really happy about that. Not happy about this. What a bummer. What a bummer. So if you are thinking about buying this, just check the ingredients out and make sure it is what you want it to be. So that's it for me, guys. Thanks so much for watching.